Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and today I am going to show you how I have configured my Stream Deck. We'll kind of walk through all the parts of it. You'll be able to see some of it in action, uh, and then I will tell you how you can learn more. And if you do want to learn more about the Stream Deck and a potential plan I have for this channel, if you're interested, leave a comment about a specific. Leave a comment with a specific question you have about the stream deck but first i need to ask you to subscribe to this channel i'm getting pretty close to a thousand two thousand two thousand subscribers as i record this and that's a that's been a goal of mine for this year so uh your subscription to the channel will help it's free and you'll see uh, when i put out new videos you'll also be able to see when i go live which is usually wednesdays at 11 eastern time uh, now, if you want to, if you really dig what I'm doing, uh, you can always become a member of the Build Something Club for 50 bucks a year. That's less than five bucks a month. You can sign up and become a member. You'll get ad-free extended episodes of my podcast. You will also uh, get uh, live stream archive access and access to my automations library, which is very relevant to this video. So... Without further ado, let's get into the video. So first, uh, let me show you, here is the blog post for how I've configured my stream deck. If you're interested, I will have a link to this uh, in the description below. But this gives you a screenshot. Now this is actually slightly changed, uh, so I'll have to update it again, but it has been updated for uh, the month of November, which is when this video is coming out. So, and then I'll give you a view of what it looks like here. So, um, this is a little bit unclear. What I'll do is just so you can kind of see the hardware and when I push the buttons, we'll get a little picture in picture uh, view here. But perhaps for now, uh, what we can do is you can see it on the screen a little bit clearer here. This is the Stream Deck app. So, uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I do want to show you exactly what some of the buttons do and how they affect uh, my setup or, or whatever it is I'm doing. So this is a quick, I'll give you a quick rundown. This is again in the blog post, uh, but you could see the top row. It's basically divided in half. Uh, the whole board, uh, which is like live stream stuff and then lighting stuff with a few automations in between here. So the first half of the board, uh, this, these mostly is live stream. This is my main camera, the screen. This is my uh, live stream layout, right? So I'll, I'll put this scene up uh, right before a live stream. Uh, this is the promo for the Build Something Club that you just saw. Uh, this will show you Ecamm Live, uh, so when I press this, you should be able to see um, all of the Ecamm Live windows that are uh, currently uh, currently what I'm looking at. Uh, the face cam is what I'm using to give you the overhead view uh, of the of the board here, uh, and then there are a couple of other helpful buttons here: the promos, the slide overs. Uh, the some of the interesting ones are the recording. This is a um, a, a shortcut, a Siri shortcut. I'll, sh I'll I can show you the shortcut, but uh, this will set all of my lights to be the recording lights. It'll set the timer and things like that. Uh, and then go live. The subscribe button. These are Zoom, and then the rest of these are for lighting. So. Uh, so now you can see the Stream Deck. This is a live view of the Stream Deck. Uh, and <laughs> moving it towards me. Let's keep it in frame. Um, so what the rest of these buttons do are set uh, different lighting. So I can, uh, for example, turn my lights purple. Uh, it's the rocket because that's the podcast liftoff lighting. Uh, then the teal is is usually the lighting I have for these videos. Uh, I can increase the brightness. I can set the lights behind me to white. I usually do that when I'm working. Um, and then the light, the buttons up here control the key lights. So I can decrease the brightness. You could see my face getting darker. I can increase the brightness. I can also 
increase and decrease the warmth of uh, the color temperature of the light. So if I'm blown out, I might do warmer. Uh, if it's really dark, I might do lighter. I can also just turn them off completely. Um, oh, whoops. There we go. Uh, I guess only one of them is turning off right now. And you can, you can tell it's this light right here. Uh, when I turn it off, half of my face gets unlit. I don't know what's going on. The key lights, to be honest, uh, they, they disconnect from each other a little bit too often, but that's okay. Um, and then the rest of these buttons here, again, I press this and subscribe shows up. Um, I can tweet when I'm live. That's usually what I'll do. I can switch to an iPad or iPhone view, which is what these do. Um, and then the rest of these buttons switch views, right? So uh, one thing that would be neat to show you is I just switched the view again. So I need to add that camera overlay back. Uh, so I'll kind of show you some behind the scenes stuff with Ecamm Live here. Because I do want you to, I do uh, want you to see me push the buttons uh, so that you could see kind of how the environment is affected. And I'll move that here now. So um, one example of this is uh, something I do with Keyboard Maestro is I, I have a podcast workspace up. So I press this button and then the whole screen should change. It didn't. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Um, so it kind of resizes and launches um, everything that I need it to launch. So this is happening pretty slowly uh, as I do it. Um, but it... It launches GarageBand. It launches Zencaster. I'm going to have to actually change this to uh, Riverside. I just switched to Riverside. And then it opens up Notion and arranges the, uh, the windows. And this is my preferred setup for when I record a podcast. So that's a keyboard maestro sc uh, script. I've got uh, some shortcuts here. And then the rest of it is kind of Ecamm Live, which I think I'd probably want to cover in another video. So uh, that's just a quick tour of the Stream Deck. Uh, a lot of those features are built in. And actually, you know what I'll do here is I'll, I'll show you um, what you can do in the Stream Deck app, right? Uh, just to give you an idea of what I've decided to set up, but what else you can also do. So uh, let me get rid of the stream deck right and this is this is part of the reason i have a stream deck is so i don't have to go back and keep changing this in 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 ecamm live theoretically i can just push a button and show my face right and if i had other scenes set up where i could push a button and show the face cam um i, I could do that as well so uh, just to give you a rundown here if you're you can do game capture so uh if you're uh, playing a, a video game, you can do screenshot or screen record easily, right? Uh, a lot of a lot of streamers, you, uh, a lot of gamers use a Stream Deck. If you use OBS, it has OBS integration. It has a soundboard here, so if you want to have a soundboard uh, of sound effects or anything like that, you can add that. Now I have the Rodecaster Pro, so I don't use the soundboard stuff. Uh, then there are Stream Deck actions, right? So you can have a multi-action. Um, Toggle between actions, a random action, that's wild. Uh, timer, brightness, and sleep. So this is all controlling the stream deck. System controls your system. So the hotkey switches are keyboard shortcuts. That is how I'm currently executing my, uh, my shortcuts for the recording uh, and not recording uh, shortcuts by Siri, well, by Apple. Um, but that's not working consistently, probably because the Mac app for shortcuts is broken. So I might try a different way to do that. Mac Stories has a really good rundown of how you can do it. But you could open, um, you can open apps, uh, you can open websites, type pre-composed text, or control multimedia. Uh, there's Twitter, so you can tweet. This is really interesting because this might be new because this. Oh, this is a, yeah, this is an IFTTT action uh, that I have on my button. So, um, but Twitter is integrated. 
And then IFTTT is integrated. This is great because uh, you can you can have IFTTT do some home automation stuff and, and control it from your stream deck. Uh, then there's Keyboard Maestro. I love Keyboard Maestro. That deserves its own series of videos. Uh, David Sparks has a really good course called the Keyboard Maestro Field Guide. Streamlabs and Twitch, if you use them. Philip, he, Philips U, which is how I'm controlling most of my lighting here, like the bottom half the bottom right quadrant is all Philips U controls uh, control center is how I control my uh, my lights my stream deck lights so um, okay so like this is a multi action that oh this is supposed to turn off all of my lights uh, is what this one does so uh, that's the multi action button in action and then this one is supposed to control there we go that's why I was having some trouble. So if I press this now, that's still just the one light, which means that something's wrong with my, my big key light. Um, so that's control center and then Ecamm live. There's a lot of actions for Ecamm live. That's why I use Ecamm live. I'll link that in the description below too, but I'm a big fan of Ecamm live. Uh, because it works a lot. I think it works better with the stream deck on the map on the Mac than OBS does. I, I felt like I had to uh, connect a lot of things and daisy chain a lot of things to get OBS working the way I wanted to. Whereas with Ecamm live, uh, it's, it's just, it just works. Right. So for like 240 bucks a year, uh, I don't have to constantly fight Ecamm live and they're always rolling out new things. Um, like, like guests, you can bring in guests on live streams and stuff like that. Uh, and then there's Twitch, there's YouTube, YouTube, um, YouTube support is pretty lacking. Um, I'm not super impressed by that. Uh, oh, I should also say one more thing I really like about Ecamm live is add last comment, which is, where is that right here? That's this button. When I'm live streaming, uh, Ecamm live will aggregate comments from both uh, YouTube and Twitch. And so when somebody makes a comment, I can press this button and show it on the screen. It's super cool uh, and a really nice way to interact with the people who are watching. Uh, and then it's got Zoom actions, which is cool because for a while I was using keyboard maestro scripts to manage this. But now um, you can mute uh, and you can end the Zoom call. Uh, so those are all the things that I love about the Stream Deck. Uh, the last thing I'll mention, right, is all of these icons, for the most part, are really nice icons. Um, and they are courtesy of uh, Mac Stories. They have an icon set. So if I choose set from file, um, I have a folder called Mac Story Shortcuts Icons. These were originally made for shortcuts. Uh, so you could put the icons on your home screen, but they work really well here. I outlined this in the blog post. Uh, so maybe I find a, I wonder if mute is one of the, the search terms are a little bit, um, I can't usually find what I want when I do a search, but if I look through the icons really quick, I can generally find what I'm looking for. Maybe I want mic. Okay. So there's microphone there, but, um, uh, maybe I want like no sound or speaker off or something like that. Uh, I, I'm not the one who named these. I guess I could go all, I can go and rename them uh, so that I could search them better. But that's like not really what I'm about. So I'd probably want to find an icon that has like an X over a microphone for mute uh, or sound off, something like that. Uh, and I'm not seeing... Interesting. I'm not seeing something like that. There's a lot of icons here, so I, maybe I just haven't gotten to it yet. Like something like this, right? But for for sound. Skull, LMNO, smart speaker stop. So like that's, that's maybe what I would go with. Speaker on, just speaker. Sound off. I mean, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I would want, uh, sound off and sound on those are the names. And then you could see there's two different states here. Uh, so, oh, one is, um, microphone. 
and then its microphone dimmed. That's actually pretty good. Maybe I'll, I don't know why it's not showing up that way. Um, but maybe we go here, right? And then I can search for uh, on. So sound on. And then sound off. And then, uh, yeah, mute and unmute audio. So, great. Keep that. I don't know. It, it hasn't changed yet, so I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know why that's not updating. But that is, if I switch. No, it hasn't changed here yet either. Oh, there. when I press it, it changes. Maybe it's just because Zoom's not up yet, but uh, that's okay. That's, oh, Stream Deck has its own library too. So, uh, but in any case, it's working for everything except that one, I guess. You know, it's working for like the end Zoom, right? These are all custom icons, thanks to Mac Stories and Federico Vatici. So maybe it's just, we'll do one more thing actually, right? I'll delete this and then I'll, I'll move it back, right? So uh, mute toggle move that over here and then okay so just learned something new right I actually want uh, off first I guess sound off and then sound on it's not changing this is moderately frustrating um that it's not changing, but again, that's okay. Zoom mute, put the name and the label there. And I guess I'll just have to live with that microphone icon. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions about the stream deck or you want to know how I built specific automations, uh, let me know in the near future. I'll probably be doing a live stream where I just kind of uh, rework the stream deck so you can kind of watch me work live. So definitely uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to know when I go live uh, and be sure to click the thumbs up button down below. And uh, I, I guess that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions about the stream deck and until next time, get out there and build something.